one of the most exciting projects that I got to do was some usability testing for one of my projects. So what that means is you uh, build a system, you get participants to come in and they never see you. They get guided in through like a hidden corridor, come into like a little square room and all they see is a computer in front of them. And what we do is we sit on the other side behind a one-way mirror and watch them. It was really fun because you see and we would track different things. It wasn't just um, behavior of what they clicked on. It would be tracking even where are their eye movements going? Um, how long are they spending looking at one point? How long are they scrolling? Are they scrolling? Are they, are they finding certain areas more interesting than others? So looking at really that kind of that data and getting that data back and, and as actual data as well means a lot because you can also do surveys and ask people, well, did you like design A versus design B? And sometimes we call that A-B testing. Um, did you like that? And, and, and they'll say, yeah, I like design A because of design B, but I can't really tell you why. I like this area, but I didn't like this. And then you kind of compare that with the actual data. And a lot of the times it might surprise you that it's kind of a little bit flip side. What people say they like, sometimes it's not what is necessary for the system. And I guess that kind of goes back to what I love to do and what I do every day, which is I always challenge clients. I always challenge even my coworkers to think differently. Someone might tell you they like something, but that might not actually be what they want because you just, it's not that they lie intentionally. It's that they just don't know. So always ask questions, always think about it from out of the box, think about things from a different angle. 